Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea, hearing what he was doing. A large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, and from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that he would not, so that they would not crush him. And he, he had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God! He warned them sternly not to make him know the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a very uh, human gospel. Um, and the description of the, the crowds really pressing on Jesus, even to the point of, of crushing him. Uh, and, uh, uh, and you can imagine him sitting in a boat on the the, the seashore talking to the people as they are on the shore listening to him. Um, I guess part of the, the uh, invitation I think of the gospel is, uh, you know, are we approaching Jesus with the same kind of fervor and yes, need as the people of his day? because it's the same Jesus that's with us now. And the miracles he performed now, he's performed then, he's performing now. And those miracles are meant for us. Uh, both a call to faith, but a call to love in him, to be drawn to him, uh, such that no one and nothing can ever separate us from the love of Christ. Let's pray for that grace during this Eucharist.